everyone, I'm Julie Cephalou, and today I want to show you how to make a quarter square triangle unit. It looks like this. It's also known as an hourglass unit. So I'm going to show you the formula to make your own and the steps that it takes. For the quarter square triangle unit, we're going to start with two squares. And to determine the size of the square that you're going to use, you'll want to take the finished measurement of your unit and add an inch and a quarter. I'm using a two inch finished quarter square triangle unit and I'm adding a little bit more. So I'm adding an inch and a half to mine because I like to be able to trim mine down and to make it exactly perfect. So I'm starting with two, three and a half inch squares. And you're gonna take both of those squares and lay them right sides together. I've drawn a line from corner to corner on the lighter square and you want to stitch a quarter of an inch on each side of that line. So here I've got one done. I've stitched my line and I'm going to cut it apart on that drawn line. And then you're going to press this and I like to press towards the darker fabric. So we'll come right over here to the ironing surface. Give it a quick press. And you're working on a, a little bit of a bias here, so be careful when you're pressing. You don't want to push that seam out of alignment or make it wonky. Okay, so now I've made two half square triangle units. I want to take these and put them together, right sides together, and I want to make sure that my colors are on top of each other um, opposite. So I've got, I'm going to peel this back, got my dark here and light, and light and dark. And when you peel it back, you can really see how well your seam is nesting, and you can feel it from the top. I can just take my fingers and run it across there and feel that my, my seams are nesting. Now I want to draw another line from corner to corner. This time I'm going to be bisecting my seam right here. So I'm going from this corner to this corner. Draw a line. And again, you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch on each side of that drawn line. So here my unit is stitched in place. And now I'm going to cut this in half. And we're going to press this. And this time, let's come on over here. When we press this, I'm going to press it with a swirl. I'm going to like twirl that center seam. So I'm going to take half of that seam and press it down. And the other half, I'm going to press it up. And you can kind of pop those seams a little bit so it opens up right there in the middle and it just allows the middle of that unit to lay flatter. I want to show you two different ways to trim these units up. The first way is using um, a square ruler and you want to make sure that you find the center of the, the block. So this is going to be two and a half inches unfinished. So half of that is one and a quarter. So I want to find the one and a quarter line of my ruler, which is right here. And I want to make sure that that's right there in the center where all those seams converge. Then I also have the diagonal line of the ruler going on one of my seams as well. So now I'm, I'm lined up and I'm ready to trim. So I'm going to trim two sides here and here. And then I'm going to rotate this around. Actually, rotate my map. And I'm now going to trim the other two sides. And now I'm going to put the two and a half inch line of my ruler on the previous cut edges. Just like that. That diagonal line should be still following my seam, and I can trim the other two sides. 
And now I've got a perfect hourglass unit. The other way that you can trim these up is like this. So on this unit, I haven't pressed it open yet. And I'm gonna take a ruler. This is the Quilton, Quilton a Day square up ruler. And I'm gonna put the two and a half inch line of the square up ruler on my seam here. This line right here follows the other seam that's going perpendicular to that. And once you've got that lined up, you're ready to trim these two sides in one swoop. So here and here. There, and now that's gonna be the perfect size. I wanna show you one other way that you could do this. If you've got a two and a half inch square ruler, you could use that to trim this up the same way. This, I'm gonna put the diagonal line of my ruler right on that sewn line here. And then I just need to make sure that the, the corner of the ruler matches the seam line that's going perpendicular. And then I could trim it the same way. Then once this is opened up, you'll have a nice even two and a half inch squared uh, quarter square unit. You just have to trim off the little dog ears here. So that's how you make quarter square triangles. I hope you have fun and I'll see you next time.